I'm Matt Slauson. I'm a technology teacher at Skinny Atlas High School. I'm going to take you through uh, these uh, uh, instrument projects we've been doing for the last uh, half dozen years or so. Um, the past two years we've been making acoustic mandolins and here's an example of one we made last year. Uh, this instrument was made uh, in a combination of CNC and laser engraving and a, and a great deal of handwork as well. Uh, the necks were cut on the CNC machine, the bracing inside the mandolin was cut on CNC, the peg head was cut on the CNC machine, the veneers were cut with a laser engraver, the tops and backs of the, of the mandolin were cut on the laser, rough cut on the laser, and markings for the bracing were laid out uh, with the laser as well. And then it was glued together, the sides were hand formed on a bending jig, and so, in addition to a lot of CNC and laser work, there was a lot of hand work the students needed to do. So this is a project I do in a class called Computer Integrated Manufacturing. And what I wanted to show you was the project we're going to do this year. This year I decided to do a solid body electric mandolin. And this is the body and the headstock that's roughed in. So it will end up being like this. It's a semi-hollow body. There's two cavities here. Uh, we're not quite done with the bodies. There'll be a single coil pickup, two F holes, uh, and then we'll, of course, finish it with some veneer and some inserts for the back of the, the body. Uh, my goal this year is to introduce the students to electronics by also teaching them how to wire the electronics for the electric mandolin, as well as we're going to make our own uh, electronic pickups. So the way this works is students glued together a slab of wood, and this happens to be four pieces because that's what we had in stock. This is maple. So this maple block will get fastened into the CNC machine. The CNC router uh, was one of the first projects we did in, in the SIM class. A student, Corey Knighton, who's now at the at Rochester Institute of Technology, helped me build this when he was a sophomore. Corey uh, cut all the steel up for me and helped me weld it together, and I designed and did the control systems for the for the router. Um, Corey was indispensable in, in helping me build this machine. So all these mandolin bodies we've been building and all the CNC stuff uh, wouldn't have been possible without the help of my students. What's Inventor and why are you using it in the making the mandolins? It is a solid modeling program and we use it to um, design the body of the mandolin and the neck and the head of the mandolin. Um, okay, yeah. thanks Christine. You're welcome. So what's EdgeCam and how are you using it in the mandolin project? Uh, EdgeCam is a computer program where you create what it is that you're trying to machine and then you can use roughing and profiling procedures to basically machine it out and then, then you can it's kind of like printing it but you print it out onto the machine out there and the machine runs the program and as long as you didn't screw it up nothing explodes so we're, we've created the mandolin neck in EdgeCam and that's pretty much how we're using it is we're using EdgeCam to create the mandolin neck What's the CAM stand for? Computer Aided Machining. Thanks, Colby. Yep. Okay, Steph, what are you doing and why are you doing it? Right now, we're using the program from the CAM software to, uh, it, that has gone into the computer as GNM codes to create the mandolin body by having the router follow the Okay, thanks, Steph. So what's a post-processor? Well, you see, it is a code generator that really edits the code for a specifically made machine because not all codes are made for one machine. It's made for a generic type, and then the post-processor will then change it for a custom-made machine because not all machines have the same type of coding that is needed. Okay, thank you.
So how do you calculate spindle speed and what happens when the, the diameter of the tool increases or decreases? Spindle speed is calculated by CS times 12 divided by pi D, and as your tool gets larger, your spindle speed will go down. Thank you. So how do you calculate feed rate in the XY plane? Uh, you take the spindle speed multiplied by, by the number of teeth multiplied by the number of teeth per inch. Thanks. What are you guys doing and why are you doing it? We are going to engrave our names. Computer Integrated Manufacturing, class of 2011-2012, Skinny High School, in this little pocket right here to show that we are the that we're like the makers. Yeah, we made it. Uh, it's kind of like add some, makes it a little special, like take pride in the yeah, work. Yeah, it's, it's, it. it's like handcrafted by us. Yeah, so. Okay, thanks guys. So what are you doing and why are you doing it? I'm engraving my mandolin and I'm doing it so I can show my uh, products and I'm, I think it makes it legalizes that I'm producing it. <laughs> there you go. So what's a can drilling cycle and how do you use it? All right, the uh, can drilling cycle code is a G81 and you use it by putting in the G81 with, or you, sorry, you wrap it transverse to the first point, X and Y value, then you G81, retract and, or you do um, Z depth for the drilling depth and R for the retract, 
And after that, you just put the X and Y coordinates of each code, and then G80 or G80 at the end, which is the cancel the cycle. Okay. Thank you. So how do you create a clockwise arc? In code, it's a G02. You put the X coordinate and the Y coordinate, and after that, you all those are the that's the coordinate you want to go to, and then you put the center point of the arc you're making with I and J. Okay. Thanks. So what are the codes for uh, rapid traverse and linear interpolation, and how are they different? Rapid traverse is G00, um, and linear interpolation is G01. They're different in that um, a rapid traverse is to like, move quickly to a point, and um, a linear interpolation is for cutting. OK, thank you. What are you doing and why are you doing it? Okay, thank you.